Hey guys, welcome back and uh, I'm Surya and welcome to the next vlog, vlog 2. I'm just thinking, should I call it a vlog or an episode? Not sure what should I call it, but uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I would appreciate uh, if you can join and go down in the below comments and share what your thoughts are, should I call it a vlog or an episode? Uh, anyways, so coming, to the, coming to the topic for today, so... Uh, I was, uh, when I was done with the yesterday's episode and I was like super excited to do, I was thinking like what should I do for tomorrow? Because there was nothing. I was like learning and I was, uh, I had to create this video, so, right? So I was thinking what should I create and I remembered a quick concept but I was it was not clear so I had to refresh and uh, I was looking for this book uh, called Dotcom Secrets by Russell Bronson. Uh, I will uh, you can you can just uh, search for that book and it's a fantastic book that you have to read if you're an entrepreneur and uh, I was looking for this book uh, I basically looked it for like three hours and I was not able to find this book it's like how did I miss a book from Russell Brunson and it scared it scared me like where is this book? Because I did not have a backup copy. I did not have a uh, copy too. So I was thinking, what should I do? And uh, that's when I remembered that uh, I left the book at my in-laws. My, with my mother-in-law's, uh, uh, in my mother-in-law's house somewhere when I had a previous visit. So I was like, shoot, huh. that's pretty intense. So what should I do now? Because I really wanted to talk about this topic for today. <sighs> I thought like, okay, something is stopping me today. So I took my time, remember what I should talk on. And I took like a couple of hours to get back the topic. So finally got it. So uh, I'll explain the story first so that it will be easier for you to relate as well. So... Uh, Four four and a half years, five years back, I was uh, working on my e-com business, so which was like where I was handling all the customer support. I was being the developer. I was being the Facebook guy. I was being <laughs> the bank and everything. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the reason I didn't recruit anyone is because I wanted to save some pennies for myself. Such a bad idea. So um, I wanted to. Do, I, I was doing all the customer support. Let me change the hand. So I was uh, I was doing the customer uh, customer support and I got uh, I still remember this day where I got a message from PayPal saying that you've got sixty five dollars in. Before that, I uh, uh, if I had to say the last time I remember where I made sixty five dollars before that uh, before that uh, purchase was like never. Not even a single day. Basically, my monthly salary would be like uh, back in that day, five years back, it would be like six hundred, seven hundred dollars per month. You can say, and that's crazy. So sixty-two dollars, sixty, sixty-five dollars is like crazy, super high for me in a single day. And it was cool. And uh, I was super excited. I was, I was enjoying the day and. Uh, that's when I saw that a support email came in and I want to see what praying that it's not a refund request <laughs> so I went in and opened an email and that's from the exact lady that made a purchase like a couple of uh, a couple of hours back for the $65 purchase so I was like looking oh my highest level customer <laughs> so I had to go in and I she was looking for what she what she wanted so that's when I saw that, hey, where, hey, so and so person, hey, support team, I do not see where my ship, where my product is. Can you, can you ship me the details where it is as of now? I was like, you just made a purchase like a couple of hours. It has to come in from China. How the heck am I supposed to give you a status? I believe the order even did not get placed at by that point of time. I was like. We were we were texting front and front and back for a couple of times, and I was like, 
Now I really wanted to give her the refund right now, even though if she wants it or not. I was like super stressful. I did not want to do that ever again. There are people who can do that for me. So uh, take that one thing and you'll save a ton of time. And uh, I, I, I was uh, I was not happy with the with what was happening with the customer who I got, who I attracted. And that is where the topic from Russell Brunson comes in, which is discussed in uh, Dot Com Secrets. It's called the dream who. If it's precisely important, basically, it's really important for a business owner to know who he or she chooses to work with because it doesn't this is one thing that I believe okay my core principle and I never plan to share this but here we go so my principle one of my principles is core principle is just because you have money doesn't mean that you can afford me this is what I truly believe in if I if I do not want to or wish to work with a customer or a client no way so that's that's me and because I exactly know who I want to work with because I already had some bad experience previously and I do not want to go the go through that again and never and ever so uh, that uh, the dream who is uh, is quite crucial for a person who who is especially growing or who wants to grow the business to the next level because not every customer is a god customers are exactly people like us who who are looking for a service and who who we are adding value so that we can have a pleasant life we can grow along with them and always remember that because i was i was trained in such a way that uh, customers are gods customers are not gods that's one thing that I believe in. Customers are also people like us who wants to feel things like us. They are actual people just apart from you. So always remember, remember, uh, take a note of uh, who your dream client, who you want to work with basically. So you can just go to Google and this is something that I learned from Russell. It's just not like Hmm. This is quite difficult for me to put it out. Let's see. If I say my dream client is Jesse. Jesse does not have any form or shape as of now because I just thought of that. Give your dream client a face. Go to just Google images and give uh, give a name, give a face. Give exactly the details who you want them to be. And that's how you figure out your dream who. And uh, with that said, that's for today's episode. And uh, catch you in tomorrow's episode. And thanks for watching. And uh, share your feedback in the below comments so that we can grow together. With that said, make the cash rain.